Merry Christmas! Let's end double review. Hope you enjoyed that squad and this up. I was getting my latest review here of Nostra Spoon, episode 392 and 393. Okay, these, okay, our list is possibly one of the most unique. So, like, this, these whole, these, these two episodes right now, uh, even though they are a week apart, but they, uh, but they do, but they are impressive and they do show canon and in its form straight out of the manga. Uh, for example, after Madara's Arat's resurrection, his power, power now, power now at its peak. Yeah, I mean, remember he was a badass as a rean, uh, as a reanimated Shinobi, and now he's even more of a badass now that he's flesh and blood again. But now, but he's stolen Hashirama's strength, and, and game, and, and okay, Obito's now weak enough for him to ex him, him to take hit the ghetto Mazo, the ghetto statue out. Now Black Zetsu's back at his side, and he even has once again has the power of the Renegon, um, and not not the whole Renegon. Obito still has uh, has the left eye. He has the right one, and, and also he has a new arm. Apparently, after his giant slap fight with Shikaku and Gara, uh, uh, these two episodes literally turn the tide in favor of the enemy, the enemy which is Madara. Uh, his overwhelming strength, power. Alright, our and now that he's flesh and blood again, and proved that he's a shadow of a doubt, definitely close to accomplishing his goal. I also gotta talk about some of the, and some of the, some of the sto side story of the episodes and uh, and the chapter they were set on. For example, Ogara working on, once again with Shikaku, even though Shikaku is no longer inside him, and he's no and Gara is no longer the tail beast in Chudiki. That means he's no longer obligated to help him, but he has to because he knows if he doesn't, he, without the Chicago State, they can't win this war. And Chicago's trying and sees that he's at least trying to do his best to help him despite everything. And remember, Chicago was like like any other tail beast, uncontrollable, or vicious, violent, and, and didn't didn't care about in, about humanity at all. He didn't and they didn't want to serve humans at all. Uh, not uh, not once, but uh, but right now, they, but he did. Sh but now he's seeing Kara how he's mature, how strong he is. He's willing to work with God to fight off Madara. After all, if he does it, it means having having been sucked up into Madara again, and once again becoming him becoming the Jinchuriki of the Ten Tails, and having him become a weapon for I mean, for his enemies' use again. So basically, you have to touch. You also got to touch to the sauce. Or, I mean, remember. I mean, there were two other people who had been tricky key for the Shikaku before Gahara. One was an old man, an old monk who was so feared that they put him inside a put him inside a cell, you know, a locked room where they had to feed him to a cage. Like they feared him that much. And this guy was like literally an old man, but he never never shed any emotions except for the only. The words that Shikaku ever gave to him were, yeah, you reminded me of the stage of six paths. And he even, and he cried a little bit. And that showed that Shikaku doesn't think humanity's all scum, but there are a few, but they are, but he's been around so long, they see it's mostly the bad in people, that's all you're gonna think is gonna be bad people. That's only the first episode. The second, in the tale of beast, he's getting, he's reabsorbed inside the ghetto Mazo. Naruto and Sasuke are on the edge. They're trying to do their best to fight, right? Madara's hold, hold, keeping him from becoming a Jinchuriki, and risking both their lives on, on to do this. And it's going to be very, very hard for them, um, especially you know, now that Madara uh, is this close to accomplishing his goal. Um, but they, they do have a plan. They, they're just very hard. But with Madara and his full planes, uh, at full strength right now, he's flesh and blood. Uh, with the Renegon, Renegon, his true Renegon back, and with Sage Jutsu Chakra from Hashirama, it's like the tide is turning in his favor in the warfare. Right, to the point where you would think we may see our main protagonist lose and die, but that's not true. True. I mean, I'm, we are, if you read the manga, then you know talking about it. If you have it, then you have it. I'm not going to spoil it for you. So, uh, you have to understand, and, these, and this is just one aspect of what you expect warfare. Even when the others are watching, they're doing their best to counteract him and doing their best to keep on the toes and on the edge. When Madara 
uh, you uh, uh, now flesh and blood again. And he's going to be very hard to defeat, especially when he becomes the Tentail Chinchuriki. He's going to be even harder, more fearsome, and possibly be, be even more of a badass. Hell, Masaki Kishimoto, who, who, who made Naruto, said he, that it was so, he made Madara so powerful that it was hard for him to know how to defeat this guy. Like, you were going to end the series on a high note. He was going to end the series on a high note, but luckily, he, with all his work and his creators, Here's, uh, here's, uh, he, he managed to figure out a way. I'm not going to tell you what it is, but you're going to have to find out for yourself. I'm just a reviewer. I'm not the guy that's going to be, I'm not the guy who's here to hold your hand. Just give me my opinion, not yours, so. What do you think? Hey, with Madara this close and over one, else and the, and the other, and people are on the verge of death, who I'm going to say? Not going to, not telling. But that's something you got to find out on your own. Um, and you got to find out. Um, for yourselves, because with things that they are now, how uh, we are on the edge. I mean, especially now that see now now that this is like the end of December. I mean, I mean, isn't the holidays? Aren't they gonna go on winter break? A break? They're probably not. Also, the X episodes. It's not. Ca it's canon. It's filler. Apparently, it's something about a new tuning exam. But mm, Naruto has been dying to become a tuning forever. Uh, but pl but please. He He's, it's Naruto, so hey, if anyone probably passes him, but knowing that when these fillers, it's just gonna be you know flop. Uh, but it will probably be entertaining. You can't deny that. And I've seen that you're gonna see some old friends. There's Raikage, Hanzo of the Salamander, the Hidden Rain, and Jiraiya. Uh, but give credit where credit is due, and I give this a lot of credit. So you have to understand, this is just one aspect of of, of two episodes. Especially at what's to come. Especially now, they give him word that the movie Not Until the Last has been confirmed to be to be shown around February. I mean, it's really amazing. After all, we all know the truth. But I'll explain that on a video on what what Not Until the Last is. And so, I'll give you credit where credit is due, and I give this a lot of credit. So, I hope you enjoyed this. This is the Solomon Drew. I'm Naruto Shibuden, episode 392 and 393. Hope you enjoyed this. Watch it. All right, thank you. Signing off.